We are based on the UK construction area, which involves participants from universities working with construction companies and an engineer. So we've got a group of young engineers from different companies that have got together. We had groups of participants from BMD, from Oricon and from Transport and Main Roads. So for this week I was project manager uh, of the entire build. I maintained that position throughout the week. The overall aim of Construction Arium is to actually develop and instill in young engineers, in budding engineers, a sense of what it really means to deliver a project on time and on budget that's high quality and delivered safely. This week I started out as a general labourer, so I was just underneath the leading hands where I would get given a task and complete that task, such as making the formwork for the six footings around the column. Then I moved up to a leading hand where I was in charge of getting the formwork into place, getting the Rio into the holes. And after that, I moved up to foreman where I was in charge of the site and I advised on the safety issues and the JHA cards and all the work that was going on on site. The biggest thing I learned was how to effectively delegate into teams. As a leading hand and a foreman, had to make sure our teams had people who knew what they were doing for that task. And also the scaffolding, when we're putting up the scaffolding, I've never been involved in scaffolding before, so I learned how that goes up and everything that goes into putting up a scaffold. So the main role I was in this week was surveying. So our responsibilities for that was um, laying out all the fittings at the start and making sure that they were all deep enough and in the right positions for when we're actually constructing the tower um, and just general checks around the site. So I was most excited about coming on site um, as I work in an office, so getting hands on in the tools, shoveling some concrete, digging some holes. Um, yeah, so basically just actually getting the experience on site and seeing how this sort of tower is actually created. I, um, I'm an undergrad just now, so there's a lot of just uni work and not a lot of practical. So having experience on site for um, this kind of project allows me to um, actually have real world um, experience of how much formwork and concrete and everything takes. So, um, so when I'm actually working in office or helping in design, um, we can get timelines right and and see what subbies are actually going to be doing. Uh, my background um, prior to construction area was primarily design, so I hadn't done a lot of construction work at all. So it was really good to be able to come out to a site and actually get out, sort of tie the Rio, pour the concrete and all that sort of stuff, because I haven't really seen that aspect before. I think the construction area initiative is um, really important, particularly for young recent graduates coming through university or recently completed. Um, when I went through university, there wasn't a strong background in construction. It was primarily, primarily design-based. So to come out and actually get a feel for it, um, see what actually goes out on in the field is really important. And I think young engineers will really find that helpful. I was in charge of the excavation. So we have to excavate the footings to the correct depth and then continue on from there. After that, we did some Rio cages up obviously in charge of putting in the rear cages into the foundations and aligning the top bolt anchors into the correct position. And then on top of that we did obviously the concrete pours and vibrating as well as some um, column reinforcement. And then today we're involved in the steel work around the top and bolting that all in. There's a lot of what I do in, do in my job is actually design all of this stuff. So it's how your design looks on the drawing versus how it looks out here and what actual troubles they have in your design and what you can fix in your design to make it easier for the guys on site. I learned a lot about just construction and how long things take on site versus how long you thought they would. Everything seems to take just a bit longer and there's a few more challenges that even with really simple stuff, you know, some little thing might go wrong and you've kind of got to solve it. I think in general, being in that team environment, I think we communicated really well. I think everyone got involved. I think everyone felt included and they weren't afraid just to give it a go regardless of how confident they were with it or whether or not they thought they could do it. Without a doubt, it's the best experience you can have and would definitely be a great graduate and undergraduate program. The most challenging part of the construction area 
I found was interpreting the drawings and constructing the brackets and the plates. Really good to see the way different personalities and how we all interact as a team in a work environment and in a, on a construction site and the difficulties that arise and how we can overcome that as a group. I started on Monday, I was leading hand for the reinforcement, so we created the cages and whatnot for the footings. Um, we actually went hit a schedule, we were only supposed to do two, we ended up doing the three days work there. Most difficult, oh, just a little nitty gritty, um, putting bolts together and oh, not the actual engineering itself but more putting things into place and having your tolerances of only 5-10 mil, um, just like a normal site would and now I understand why when we do inspections how how hard it is for other people to get it exactly right. I learned a lot of things from this one, um, mainly the tools, um, processes on how to do things, the actual construction methods, um, even the three days we did at Oricon where we were planning and estimating, doing all that sort of stuff, I don't see that on site, I don't see what happens in the office before we actually get out there, so it's good to see that as well. Throughout the week I've been involved in a variety of roles from the office through to the site. So I've had an opportunity to see the project management side of it flow out and also been on site, been um, involved on the tools or down on the tools. Uh, so helping with construction, concreting, scaffolding, so it's been a good week all around. We've had everyone take some very good initiative, um, everyone willing to get involved and everyone knowing what their task is and not letting the other, other people down. So that's been a really good uh, team effort all around. So I was uh, given the role of being Head of Health and Safety, so taking care of all the JHAs, all the SWIMs and the ABCs. Not the sort of person who gets out on a site in the sun all day, standing up all day, being physical all day. There's a reason I work in the office. Um, so it's just, you know, a reminder of how hard the guys on site really do work. When it comes to teamwork, you've really got to trust everyone on your team. So you've got to make a concerted effort to look out for everyone who's on your team. You have to care for them like they're your family, they're your family on site. So it relates back to the BMD values. We, we really value that at BMD. But I really think that uh, knowing that, you know, your potential employee has done Constructionarium is a really, uh, a valuable thing to have on your resume so they can know that they know how a site works, they know then already that they value safety uh, and that they have some idea of how things are built and how to even run a work site and be a project manager or be a foreman. And they've had a taste of a really real life example of a construction site. I work as a hydraulic engineer in building department in Oricon. Uh, I've never been to construction sites like this. I always do uh, design work. I started doing some QA work, quality control. Yeah. Most of the things that we read before was just on the paper. Yeah. yeah. And when you really work on the site, uh, you, you really need a little bit of time to get to know that what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure that you guys understand each other and uh, uh, and you need to, sometimes you need to repeat, even though, even though people might understand, but it's really worth repeating it uh, again, uh, if it's very important, sufficient communication. <laughs> well, the thing, the thing I was most excited about for this week was um, actually getting out on site and um, I guess being able to contribute in all the different areas of construction. So being able to do some form work, then tie some Rio, um, pour some concrete, all the things that you, know, you usually don't get to do when you're in the office or when you're out on site where you just sort of look at it. The thing I learned from the Construction Area Australia experience was that planning is really important. That you really need to think through what you have to do, um, all the steps that go into it, and then it's just a matter of following that plan to the letter and, um, and if problems come up, issues come up, then you just got to solve them on the spot. This week at the construction area, I was involved in most of the different areas. I was a construction worker so I did a bit of the reinforcing, some form work, 
Um, I've just been helping with the scaffolding now and I also helped with the steel work earlier today. Yeah. From this experience at Construction Area in Australia, I've learnt a lot more about construction than I thought I would. I've learnt a lot about concrete and steel work, which I don't sort of get the experience to learn about at TMR. The most challenging part about the build I found was just getting everything to fit together today with the steel work. Um, it was really hard to get the uh, frames down onto the concrete column and then fixing it all was really difficult as well. My highlight throughout the week working here was uh, just working with all the different people from BMD and Oricon. Uh, so I'm really happy with how the safety went overall. Uh, we did have a few incidents, they were very minor and they were dealt with in a way that I think was appropriate, especially considering uh, the level of inexperience of everyone, even though we don't have experience in this sort of thing, we're enthusiastic and interested and in, uh, interested in doing things safely. Construction Arium, it is a real project. It's got real safety issues. It's got everything that a normal, real life build would have. So I think Construction Arium's a great initiative for all engineers and I think everybody should be put through it. The most challenging part of being project manager is the fact that you're ultimately responsible at the end of the day. So you need to do your best to be here on time, plan it out in advance and know what's going on and who's responsible for what. Because ultimately if the team fails, you failed. And that then reflects my image poorly to the client. I think the Construction Area Initiative is a fantastic um, opportunity for anyone to get involved, understand how it, how it feels like to be on the tools, to see a live construction project, not only managing it, but also getting hands on and the experience needed to see what the difficulties are on site. So it's been a really worthwhile initiative and I'd recommend it to anyone um, within the engineering field. Highlight of the week would have been putting the spire up with the flag on there. It, uh, it looks finished now that the spire's up and we've got a flag flying, so yeah, that would be my highlight. So the most I learned through this construction area and experience was actually um, how much teamwork was important to getting the task done and how much communication um, an organisation needs to go into getting a project um, finished. It's just putting in that final screw on the guy wires and kind of going, yep, it's done, awesome, so exciting. <laughs> I've been saying to everyone this week, well, construction area in Australia should be at every university. It should be a subject in my mind. Um, you get the hands-on experience, you know, we've got three and four years of uni where you're learning theory. Why not get one subject where you're doing it at university, out on site and actually building something.